Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another review by Project. Again today with you, I'm Psycho, and in this episode I'm going to be reviewing Batman, the Telltale series, the first part of the game that came out a couple of weeks ago, about a month if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, it's another Telltale game to, in addition to all of the others that already came out. Um, and it features the Gotham's masked, uh, masked vigilante Batman and um, a kind of a backstory to him. Uh, a new side to the story, if, if I could say it that way, um, which hasn't really been introduced in most of the games or the movies. So it is really awesome if you are a Batman fan. So yeah, let's just get on to it. As far as the story goes, um, Batman at first meets Cat Catwoman, also known as Selina Kyle and um, who stole a hard drive with some information on it. Um, they, um, after, after discovering all the information and everything, they, they, found out, they find out that Falcone is, um, is behind the bombing, um, which happened in, in the in-between, and they kind of try to apprehend him and, uh, and see what, why he did it. But in the end, Batman kind of finds out that that Falcone actually wasn't the one who was behind the bombing. It was just his materials that were used. Um, so yeah, in the end, there is a major story twist to to the to the whole story and the game. So I'm not gonna spoil it to you guys, but it includes the Wayne family. I'm just gonna go with that. I don't want to spoil too much of the story for you guys if you want to play it because it is freaking awesome. So, yeah, as far as the gameplay goes, well, it's a telltale, it's a telltale game, so what can I say? It's still pretty much the, the same kind of game that, was, um, that, was, that all the others were up to now, pretty much. Um, it's pretty much a story-based game with some um, click, uh, action clicks and some decisions to make throughout the game. Because the decisions that you make in the fir in the pre in the first part and all in all of the parts um, directly affect the story that will unfold um, on how you have played through the game. Um, so yeah, as far as the graphics go, the graphics follow the Telltale comic style. It's an awesome style. I really like it. I've mentioned that loads of times before, and it is really great. Um, it's not a, a game that has really high requirements, so pretty much um, it can pretty much be played on even older computers and everything. Um, I've managed to play it on my computer and it's about seven years old right now, so it is still... It, it doesn't really have high requirements, so you can pretty much play it on, on older computers as well as newer. newer. So, that's as far as I'll go with this review. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment on the videos, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.